about teaching reading and uh, teaching it well and inspiring reading. I love reading to the kids. Pizza and cake. Ooh. And how are they alike and how are they different? Go. That was like the open, like the hook to get them in was, um, you know, how are these things similar? How are they different? And that was a thing per share because we do a lot of Kagan, like we use Kagan quite a bit. I do, we do, you do, like the explicit model of teaching. Our do stage is really specific. It is me modelling, this is what this is. What is comparing? What is contrasting? Let's find other words for those. Let's get really specific. This is what it is. So I'm modelling, I'm showing them, I'm doing it on the board. That way when they go to the we do phase, they can start doing it. And then there was an I do activity. So then they had to do, it was about drums, different types of drums, where they had to do it independently on their own and arrange the information to a Venn diagram. Same thing again. But it was looking for those compare and contrast words where are they in the text? So that tells me the relationship between the ideas and then putting it into a graphic organiser. Compare and contrast is one of the reading strategies. So that was my explicit lesson of that. Then I'll try and incorporate that into the guided reading that we do. So it will be guided reading in the focus series they're now doing is compare and contrast. Some of their homework is compare and contrast. So it's practicing that particular specific comprehension skill. So the group that I had on the floor, that's my guided reading group. So we, uh, that's the specific things that I'm focusing on in class. So there was a little bit of comparing and contrasting in there today. The big thing today was we're moving out of narratives into newspaper reports. And another one is reading box. So that's the comprehension box. So all those cards are leveled. They're continually being challenged, but at the same time I've got those higher order kids and those lower order kids all being catered for in one lesson. Another one that they do is the focus series, which is booklets again they are differentiated they focus specifically on the strategy that we're learning so for example at the moment the kids are doing compare and contrast oh the kids sitting here i love this one um which is vocab so it's when they're reading the same text aloud but the text will have words that are unfamiliar in it when they come across words that are unfamiliar that's when they have to go and use other sources besides me to figure out what those words mean this is one that they love, they take ownership of, and it's giving them skills as well to then go on and, oh, this is a word I don't know, oh, but I can't ask Miss V because she's busy. So these are other strategies that I can use to, to figure this out. Make a wide range of sounds, including...